Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing one of the newest Star Wars books, Light of the Jedi. This is the new High Republic series that Star Wars is currently doing. Uh, the High Republic is kind of covering a time period when the Republic was at its most powerful, kind of the golden age of the Republic. Uh, this book specifically is set, I believe, about 300 years before uh, the Battle of Yavin. Um, and as obviously the series gets close, uh, as the series goes on, I should say, it gets closer to those events of the original trilogy and also obviously the prequel movies as well. Uh, this is a very interesting series that Star Wars is doing because uh, with the High Republic, it's going all out. They're doing different types of books. So you have these adult novels, but you also have YA books, uh, books geared towards kids, uh, comic books. So it's, you know, multi types of storytelling methods to kind of tell this period of the High Republic, which I think is kind of cool. We kind of do um, something for all Star Wars fans to kind of get into this new period of Star Wars history that they're exploring. This is kind of also exciting to kind of see them delve into this period of Star Wars history that really hasn't gotten much attention, especially since Disney has taken over. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what this period of Star Wars history is about and kind of how the Jedi and the Republic develop. During the events of this book, to kind of give you an idea of what the galaxy like at this point, is at this point, the Republic is just beginning to kind of branch out into the Outer Rim. Uh, so the Outer Rim is almost a lot more like almost like a frontier at this point. Uh, hyperspace, route, hyperspace routes, I say, are just now being developed to kind of help connect the uh, core worlds with the Outer Rim. So the Outer Rim is becoming a part of the Republic, but it's barely that, and it's still... You know, it's, it's a huge transition period, basically. Uh, the Jedi are uh, very involved in this uh, Republic expansion. Um, they view the Republic as bringing, like, bringing peace and stability to the galaxy, which is goes along with their goals, so they are all about that. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what the, uh, I guess, the state of the galaxy is when a lot of the Jedi starts off. And um, this kind of positive attitude about the fate of the galaxy is tremendously shaken by events at the beginning of this book, uh, by the, that becomes known as the Great Disaster. And this is not a plot scholar any point, but basically there's a ship in hyperspace and something happens to it and it explodes. And then the debris of that ship starts to come out of hyperspace and do massive amounts of damage to other ships, planets, stuff like that. And it's really shaking the faith of the entire galactic populace of what's going on. Because there's never been this type of issue with hyperspace before. And if hyperspace travel is not safe, then um, the entire form of government that the Republic has set up is not possible. You know, if you can't have light speed travel, it just all falls apart. They should all become individual planets again. And um, it just goes into utter chaos. Um, so obviously the Republic and the Jedi quickly delve into action to try to figure out what happened and how can we stop it. While this is going on, we're also seeing um, this uh, group of marauders, pirates almost, uh, who are involved in the storyline in some way, and they're kind of coming from at the other angle and like, how can we take advantage of this? How can we gain power? How can we gain money and riches from this disaster that's happened? And that's where the storyline goes. I don't want to get into a whole lot of the plot because I really don't want to spoil the, the basic of it, but my overall impressions of the book are extremely positive. Honestly, I think this is the Star Wars book I've enjoyed the most outside of all the books about Thrawn. Uh, the books about Grand Admiral Thrawn are always my favorite. I absolutely love them. I'm pretty confident in saying this might be my favorite non-Thrawn Star Wars book, which makes me very excited to see how this storyline goes. The writing style by Charles So was amazing. It felt like a Star Wars book, but he added his own little spin to it, so it kind of felt new and dynamic. I think they also did a good job of kind of making the galaxy feel like a different place, but not so different you feel disconnected from the events in the Star Wars movie. So it's clearly this is a different time period, but it's not so different that you feel like, well, this isn't really feel like Star Wars anymore. It still feels like Star Wars, just with a little twist to it. Uh, the characters were interesting. One thing um, I found very interesting was to kind of see 
the various Jedi that are explored in this uh, book, because there, there are several Jedi, and they all have kind of different views of the Force and how it should be used and what their role is it in and what their strengths and weaknesses are. Um, that was very cool. Got a kind of interesting snapshot of galactic politics in a very interesting way, which I always enjoy because my background, my college degree is in political science. So anytime you get a little bit of the political side, I do enjoy those aspects of it. The world building of this new era of Star Wars was amazing. The villains in this book are some awesome villains and it makes me very excited to see how they develop along with the storyline. It is overall a very action-packed, entertaining read. So I would definitely encourage you, if you've been kind of if you've heard the High Republic, you're like, I'm not sure if I want to delve into this series or not, I would highly recommend you check out The Light of the Jedi. I think you'll enjoy it and honestly you think I think you'll get hooked. My current plans, honestly, I'm probably just going to stick to reading the full novels. I don't think at this time I'm planning on getting into the YA and kid novels. Because I like the way it's written. You get some stuff out of that, but if you don't read those, it's not like you're going to be lost when you read the adult novels. So for now, I'm just going to read these books. But who knows, maybe in the future I might get into the YA and the kids book just so I get all the angles from the storyline. Um, if you've read a lot of Jedi so far, let me know in the comment section um, below what you think of it. I'd be really interested to see what your opinion is of this new kind of ambitious uh, period of Star Wars history that they're going to be covering in the books. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. As always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me every time I get a new subscriber. It really, really means a lot to me, honestly. So I really appreciate everybody that subscribed and all new subscribers. So anyway, happy reading. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you the next time.